What's up guys, it's Victor here again and this is the Infinix Hot 11. It's the end of 2021 and one would think that all smartphone manufacturing companies are done releasing phones this year. But Infinix was like, no, not just yet. And boom, we have the Infinix Hot 11. This Infinix phone came packed with a massive 6000 milliamps hour battery. That's a power bank. It also came with some other interesting upgrades as well as some interesting downgrades. This video covers all the things you need to know about this device. So please stay tuned. If you are new here, you are welcome. And please consider subscribing by hitting that red button just below this video and also ring the bell to be notified when I post any other video like this one. If you search the internet for the word HOT11, you will see different designs with different specs and they are all from Infinix. However, this design is what you get if you are purchasing this device in Nigeria. The Infinix HOT11 has a two-tone gradient and texture finish and it looks very much like the HOT10 from earlier this year. It has a plastic build, a plastic frame and back and a glass front. Because it's not boxy like the new designs from Infinix, it's more comfortable to hold. The bezels are not distracting and they can almost be compared to the bezels on the Pixel C's, except for the chain. Of course, even the Pixel C's has a slightly bigger chain than the rest of the frame. For buttons and placement, we have the power button and the volume broadcast on the right side and then on the left side we have the SIM card slot that can house two nano SIMs and one SD card. There is nothing on the top edge but on the bottom edge there is a loudspeaker, the USB 2.0 that should be banned already. Then there is a microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the back, you will find a triple camera setup array with an LED flashlight. And there is a fingerprint sensor with a constraint, which I will talk about in a moment. On the front of the device, there is a water drop notch. And this is not my favorite notch style at this point in time. There is an earpiece flushed into the edge of the display and then two LED lights on both sides of the display. The phone is sturdy and feels well built when you hold it, even though it's plastic. But when you think about it, it's kind of a good thing because this device won't easily get damaged when it falls down. The display is a 6.82 inches 720p LCD IPS display with a 90Hz refresh rate. The display looks decent when consuming media. The colors are punchy and vibrant. The fingerprint sensor gets me into my device almost immediately. But while it's fast, I feel the placement is high and not ergonomic because this device is of a long aspect ratio so you would have to stretch your finger to reach it. It should have been placed a little lower and that should look aesthetically pleasing too. There is also a face unlock here if you prefer that method of unlocking your device. Infinix Hot 11 is powered by the Helo G37 chip from MediaTek and this is a letdown from the G70 on the Infinix Hot 10. The G37 is also paired with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. I wouldn't say the phone is fast but it didn't let me down because I didn't play any game. It kept most of the apps running and overall system navigation wasn't totally difficult. For normal users, this would be more than adequate, but for gamers, this would suffer. So the battery on this guy would be the biggest strength of this device. It has a massive 6000mAh battery. That's coming from the 5200mAh battery on the Infinix Hot 10. It came with a compact collapsible charger and a USB 2.0 cable and it means filling up this 6000mAh battery would take a long time. So apart from that, battery life here is great. The software here is XOS 8.0. I wonder why they didn't use the XOS 10.0 on the Note 11. Anyway, XOS 8.0, I guess, is better than XOS 7.6 on the Zero X. And it looks very similar to the XOS 10 on the Note 11, with a similar supply of Bluetooth and unwanted apps as well. It's based on Android 11, and I doubt this device will see Android 12. It will be interesting to note that this device cannot download Netflix from the Play Store just like the Note 11. This has to do with something about the rights to distribute media, that's DRM or Digital Rights Management. But of course you can sideload Netflix here if you still want to use Netflix. The camera setup is a 50 megapixel triple camera setup, with the other two cameras being a depth sensor and VGA camera. On the front is an 8 megapixel camera, videos here can only get up to 1080p at 30 frames per second with no stabilization. Here are samples, videos and pictures from the Infinix Hot 11. Tiny video on the Infinix Hot 11 Pro. 
and I'm currently running. So, no stabilization here. This is the front facing camera of the EPD 11. Videos here can only get up to 1080. The Infinity 11 is priced in Nigeria for 85,000 Naira, that's 160 US dollars. So blame it on the Naira. Now, the biggest con of this device would be the Helo G37 it came with. Even though for normal users, it wouldn't impact the performance that much. But it's very, very important to know that you won't be getting a lot of performance out of this guy. So if you are a gamer, this device is probably not for you. Another con would be XOS 8.0. I'm starting to wonder why the Note 11, which is an earlier device than this came with Infinix XOS 10.0. Why this, which is the most recent device from Infinix, is coming with XOS 8.0? It doesn't make sense. Something else that could be a deal breaker, especially in 2021 and 2022, is the fact that this device came with USB 2.0. So that's starting to be a deal breaker and that is a major con in my own opinion. So this has been my review of the Infinix Hot 11. Please consider subscribing if you're not and also ring that bell to be one of the first to be notified when I post another video like this one. Thank you guys for watching this one and I'll see you when I see you in the next one.